best bites forever. Hey, what's up? I'm Chef Felicia, and today I'm making these super creamy mashed potatoes. If you're new here, welcome, and don't forget to click on that subscribe button. And if you're already one of my BBFs, welcome back, and I'm glad you're here. Now let's rock this out. So I'm going to start off by getting my water ready, and this is something that I think a lot of people skip, and most of you probably already put salt in your water, so I'm going to start with that. This is an 8-quart stock pot, and I'm adding probably about a quarter of a cup of salt into it and this is iodized salt because your body needs iodine so this is one of the times when I use iodized instead of kosher. I'm also adding in some freshly ground black pepper and that's not going to be all guys because guess what the flavor in your potatoes comes from the water that you cook it in because as your potatoes are cooking they are absorbing the cooking water. So the next thing I'm putting in is some garlic powder and I put probably about, a, I don't know, two teaspoons, maybe even a tablespoon in there. And then I also put in a bay leaf. So I'm going to chop up my potatoes and put them in here and then I'm going to put the water up to the level of the handles over here. If you're having problems with your potatoes boiling over while you're cooking them, that's because you're not using a big enough pot for the amount of potatoes that you have. So use a bigger pot. I know there are tons of tricks out there like put a wooden spoon over it, put oil on top and do all that, but seriously just use a bigger pot. It'll take care of all that problem. So in here I have my iodized salt, garlic powder, pepper, and my bay leaf. The potatoes are going to absorb this beautiful water which has all kinds of flavor in it and it's going to give my mashed potatoes all kinds of flavor also. If you're using plain water, you're getting plain potatoes, okay? So this is going to get set to the side for now. So next I'm going to go ahead and peel my potatoes and I'm just peeling them directly into a bag to make it easier for cleanup. Normally I don't peel my potatoes at all, I just scrub them really good on the outside because I really like the peels in there. I like not only the flavor they give, but I like the texture also. But I know most of you peel your potatoes, so I'm going to go ahead and peel my potatoes today. That is love right there, right? Cooking love, peeling potatoes. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of these peeled, and I'm probably doing three pounds-ish. So I have my potatoes all peeled here. I'm going to rinse them off to get you know any excess dirt that could be on them. Give them a nice little rinse. And by the way, did I tell you that these are organic Idaho potatoes? I always buy organic when it comes to potatoes because they have a lot of pesticides on them if you're not buying organic. I don't buy organic everything, but potatoes I definitely do. So now I'm going to start chopping my potatoes up and the most important thing here is just to try to keep your pieces around the same size. So I usually quarter my potatoes long ways, like so, and then I just chop them going this direction. Again, just trying to keep the pieces about the same size as best that you can. These are going over in my pot which I have sitting right here. So I have my three pounds of potatoes in here, nice and chopped. These are going on the stove on high heat until they come up to a boil, and then I'm going to reduce the heat to like medium, medium high. I want to keep a boil, but I don't want it to boil over, of course. And they're going to boil for probably, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes until they're soft, and I'll show you how to test for that. And if I didn't mention, I'm putting the water up to here, so up to the handles. Plenty of water over my potatoes. My potatoes are almost done on the stove, so I'm going to tell you what the secret is here. So I have a half of a cup of cream along with a half of a cup of buttermilk mixed into this measuring cup, and I'm adding in a whole stick of butter. I'm going to put this into the microwave and melt it down, and that's what we're going to be adding into our potatoes. Okay, so I just want to go ahead and test my potatoes. I'm pretty sure that they're done. They've been boiling for about 20 minutes so I'm just gonna scoop some out with my spoon and then I want to stab it with a fork and it should break apart you see how that guy broke up there alright if they are doing that they are done another way that you can test them hang on I'll show you so as I was saying another way that you can test them is with a butter knife so if you just take your knife I already stabbed that guy and stab it down in there it should slide right back off just like that Okay, so these are good to go. I'm going to drain them in a colander and put them back in this pan. Okay, so I have my potatoes in here, and sorry for the weird angle, but I'm attempting not to steam my camera. So I'm going to add just a little bit of this mixture in here. You may not need all of it, so don't add all of it at once, but if you have butter clumps, make sure that they go in. See, mine didn't quite melt all the way. Yummy! 
and I'm going to be honest with you guys too, I don't normally measure my cream and my buttermilk, but it's kind of approximate. Alright, I'm going to turn this on and whip these dudes up. Look at that creaminess happening already. Stop for a second. I'm going to add a little bit more of my mix. I want to let you guys know too, if you happen to have a ricer and you don't want any kind of lumps whatsoever in your potatoes, use your ricer because that will pretty much guarantee absolutely no lumps. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add the rest of my goodness in there and I think it's going to end up being just about perfect. So. I did have the three pounds of potatoes, so you have that measurement, and you know, you can use this as a guideline and kind of adjust as needed. Alright, I'm going to stop and give them a taste at this point. Do you even see how creamy and beautiful they are? Ooh, yum. Okay, so I don't need that big of a taste. Mm-mm-mm. These really are absolutely delicious how they are, but I'm going to add in maybe another yeah, teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of kosher salt and a little bit more black pepper. You can adjust it to your own flavor likings. And before I mix that together, I'm also going to scrape down my sides just to make sure, see like that guy didn't really get mixed in. I want to make sure that I don't have any chunks sticking to the sides so that I have nice creamy potatoes. and. Once that's done, these are done and ready to eat. Final taste. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my gosh, those are so good. All right, these are ready to serve. If you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe now, smash that like button, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Back bite forever. Com.